So who is responsible for getting all the sets built and painted, the props prepared, the lights hung, plugged, focused to correctly, the costumes sewn, the sound ready, the makeup ready? One person oversees all the technical crews during this preparation period. That person is the technical director. He or she is ultimately responsible for getting everything finished on time and within the budget allotted. Let's take a look at each of the crews the tech director oversees and what they're responsible for. The set crew are carpenters, led by the master carpenter, responsible for anything that looks permanent to the audience. These walls, the set of steps, the landing, chair rail, French doors, mounting the light fixtures and the chandelier over the stage are all the responsibility of the set crew. The set crew works from the plans of the set designer. The lighting crew, led by the master electrician, is responsible for anything to do with light on the stage. While the set crew mounts the light fixtures on the wall and hangs the chandelier, the light crew is responsible for hooking them up and getting them to actually work. The light crew is also responsible for lighting the stage according to the plans of the lighting designer. Props are different from set because props look movable to the audience, while set pieces look permanent. The props crew is responsible for two types of props. The first is set props. Set props are items that are on stage and look movable when the lights come up. All these furniture pieces, the oriental rug, the barometer on the wall, are all considered set props. It's the responsibility of the props crew to make sure all set props are out on stage in the right places before the audience first sees the setting. Hand props are anything an actor brings on stage with him or her. These keys, this newspaper, this wallet are all hand props. It's the actor's responsibility to pick up their hand props backstage before they make their entrance. The sound crew is responsible for two things. The first is sound effects. Say the play calls for a car door to slam, the car engine to start, and the car to drive away. The sound tech takes care of that. In large theaters, or during musicals, when actors need to be mic'd for the audience to hear them, the sound crew is responsible for sound reinforcement. Sound reinforcement is necessary when the actor's voice is not loud enough for the audience to hear and he or she needs to be mic'd. The costume crew is responsible for anything an actor wears on stage. These hats, shoes, dresses, tuxedos are all worn by actors in the play and are considered costumes. The same item can be a costume, a hand prop, or a stage prop. In Act 1 of a play, if an actor enters carrying a coat over his arm, it would be a hand prop. In Act 2, if the same actor enters wearing the same coat, it would be considered a costume. And in Act 3, if the same coat is hanging on a coat rack, it is a set prop. In Acts 1 and 2, the actor is responsible for getting the coat. In Act 3, the props crew is responsible for getting the coat out on stage, hanging on the coat rack. The makeup crew is responsible for anything an actor applies to his or her skin or hair. For example, a fake beard, old age makeup, fake bruises, and gray hair would all be the responsibility of the makeup crew. After all the sets are built, the costumes are fitted and sewn, the lights are hung, focused and plugged, the props borrowed, bought or made, the sound prepared, then it's time for the stage manager and running crews to take over. The stage manager is with the show from the time it is cast to the final performance. He or she sits in on rehearsals to get to know all the aspects of the show almost as well as the director. When it comes time to start technical rehearsals, rehearsals where the actors start working with the sound, lights, props, sets, costumes, crews, the stage manager takes over the run of the show. What the stage manager says goes. 
he or she follows the prompt book, a book that has all the cues to the actors and technicians written into it. The stage manager then calls the cues over an intercom system. If there's an emergency, the stage manager is responsible for finding a solution to the emergency. If a play is like a living person, the set crew might be like an arm, the light crew another arm, the props crew one leg, the costumes crew the other leg. But the stage manager is the brain that tells all the other parts what to do. In educational theater, the crews often continue their jobs through the performances of the show. The crews then become running crews. The main difference is that now their boss is not the tech director, but the stage manager. Let's take a look at what these running crews are called during technical rehearsals, dress rehearsals, and performances. There are two types of technical rehearsals, dry tech and wet tech. Dry tech is a technical rehearsal without the actors present, which gives the tech crews time to rehearse their jobs. Wet tech adds the actors and can simply be called a technical rehearsal. Technical rehearsals are stop and go rehearsals where the work of the actors and technicians are brought together for the first time. These rehearsals will stop and start as scenery is moved, lights go up and down, and props are set. The people who run the light board during a show are called the light operators or light ops. The person who runs a follow spot during a musical is called a follow spot op or simply a spot op. Whenever scenery moves on or off stage horizontally from the wings or off stage areas, this is the responsibility of the deck crew. If the scenery moves in and out from above the stage, that's the responsibility of the fly person. Sound techs control the sound reinforcement and sound effects during a show from the mix position in the auditorium. The props crew make sure that all hand props are laid out on a table in labeled areas. At that point, it's the actor's responsibility to pick up and return the hand props. It's also the prop crew's responsibility to make sure that all set props are in position on stage before the audience arrives. In addition, it's their responsibility to change props on stage when necessary. Dressers help performers into their costumes and make sure everything looks good from all angles. Makeup crew members help the actors get into makeup that reflects their characters. Many actors do their own makeup, but difficult makeup like old age, beards, and wigs are usually applied by members of the makeup crew.